वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक एवरी वन इट्स बी कैन इट्स पिचा हेयर एंड इफ यू सी दैनल नेम हैज चेंज येस इट इज द कॉन्टेंट इज द सेम पर्सन इज द सेम एंड एवरीथिंग एल्स इज द सेम वेंस अगेन माई नेम इज पिचा आई मेक होम डेकोर वीडियोज समथिंग दैट यू रियली फाइन एक्सपेंस यू वन हाई इन डेकोर वेबसाइट और टू एवरी इन द स्टोर or sometimes you just feel like today you want to make something on your own right so i make those kind of those type of things and i record it and put it on youtube so yes uh, if you are in the same please don't forget to watch my other videos and let's get started with today's video so diwali is around the corner and i tried to make few of my diys for the diwali decor Yes, just like you, I did not have enough time to make the proper Diwali decor. But some of the things that are very important for me and for the Diwali, those are some of them are diyas and uh, some marigold flowers, which is like orange and uh, orange and yellow shade. Um, on top of that, there has to be something with the red color because red is the auspicious color. So. Because of the festival of lights, a lot of bright colors are involved in this, and I try to incorporate with a lot of my DIYs because Diwali is all about that, right? All of the DIYs that I made is after the work within like two or three hours. It won't take much of a time, and definitely you can take the help anyone in the house. Let them join in, and I hope you will enjoy it. Let's get started with the video. to make the marigold flowers i started with the yellow and orange napkins the reason i chose yellow is because marigold flowers are usually comes in the yellow and orange color and that's something that i have i personally like to have it in that color so i picked up a few napkins in orange and yellow color here i'm just going to show you one how i made it and uh, i already had a few from last year i glued up the half of the side of the napkins that i was going to fold and i tried to fold it four times and sticking all the center parts together well if you want to skip the process you can simply staple it together in the middle after wrapping it up four times and you have to start cutting the course just like the way i'm doing right now uh, well i already had the few flowers from the last year so here the one that i'm making just to show you how you can make it once i have this round shape with the separate Uh, napkin sheets i started to make the cuts from a uh, scissors in this case you just have to make sure that you are not cutting the center part um i was just making sure that my napkin still holds together from the center part so when i actually separate out the napkin sheets it turns out to be a beautiful fluffy flower for me just to show you i made a tiny bit of bigger bigger cuts but if you can make just try to make thin cuts as possible So after making the cuts if you can see here uh, I'm just trying to uh, separate out the napkin sheets that was attached together well um well this is the part you have to be a uh, little bit humble with your flower but otherwise your flower is going to be separate out from the center part and it will not look like the way you want it to be so after shuffling it together for a two or three minutes it should look like this well this is just one flower if you are trying to make four or five or 40 You will need someone's help if you want to make it work on quicker. With the second DIY, I got this uh, photo frame. I got this frame from the dollar store. I'm not really sure what is this for, but there were multiple of it. So I got this uh, got this uh, frame for four dollars, and basically I needed the wood part that was on this side, and I wanted something with which is deep. So uh, with that, I took off excessive accessories that was on it, and I had I also found this metal sheet, beautiful gold color, not too gold, but it's really nice. Uh, from the dollar store as well uh, it was a dollar 25 and i stick that on a base just to have the bit of like a glam up look for the diwali and just because the sheet was not enough i had to make the measurements i had to stick the separate part of the sheet together but it was really really well it turned out very beautiful it wasn't even showing the part that i had to put it separately now since i had my tray ready center piece ready and also the marigold flowers that i already had i put a tiny bit of candle holder uh, something that goes 
very well with my uh, Indian decor or Diwali decor. You can use any kind of candle holder which is like more of a gold or silver side. Double glam up the festive look and this is how we can create the centerpiece. Now for the third DIY, it's really cute. It's one of my favorite. It's 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 very easy, very cute, and it turned out really really good. Now we can find these candles. So this, these are tiny candles that you can find it in the candle aisle. Uh, probably two dollars for three of those. There were multiple colors: green, blue, yellow, red, orange. Since I'm going on a Diwali feels, I just wanted to feel like having orange and yellow. Um, and I also got this beads from Michaels, but there are some available in the dollar store as well. Not every dollar store, but they have it. You know what I mean, right? And it doesn't have to be the exact one. It can be, it can be anything. Now, since we usually uh, light up dias in the Diwali, it's not really safe to have those dias in Canadian households. So. Um, I'm going to be using candles uh, just like last year but the last year I used the tea light candles. This year I found the colored candles which is already a festive look. On top of that I decorated with the beads that I uh, got from Michaels and it was looking really cute already after I started doing it. You can still use a bit of like a gold or silver or maybe you can use a satin ribbon as well. Uh, after doing that, I just felt like adding a little bit of glam to that as well. So I added one more step to the uh, candles and was looking beautiful. And also the mat that you can see in the bottom that is from the Christmas collection on the dollar store, dollar twenty-five. And this is the final piece. Now, for the fourth DIY, that is one of my most, that's my favorite, favorite DIY. You know how much I love wreath, how much I love to make make those. So what I did is I got this tiny uh, wine that I from that I got from the Christmas decor last year. I'm not really sure they have it right now or not. So uh, with the metal ring that I already had from Michaels, we can use anything that we have from the dollar store. Dollar store has it too. Um, I, I stick uh, those marigold flowers with the glue gun very nicely just on the bottom part of the metal ring and I, I tied up those with this, with this leaf wine, leaves wine that I have from last year's Christmas decor. It, was, it has a metal bar going inside so it was really easy for me to wrap around that and yes this is pretty easy very quick DIY wreath for the Diwali. Bye.